Welcome to the Learn Metastock Data Converter. With this data converter, you'll be able to quickly convert all of your local Metastock data files to a format that Metastock 13 will be able to use. And it'll automatically install your data files directly into a custom list for you. Let me show you how this works. To get started, the first thing you need to do is identify where your local data files are located. Click on the Browse button, and from this dialog, select the data files that you want to convert. So for this example, I'll select my daily watch list, which is located underneath my Metastock data folder. I'll click on OK, and this will add it to the list. Now if I want to add other files to be converted as well, I can do it a couple different ways. One way is I could go back to the Browse button, and I could select another folder from this list and click on OK. Or if I have a lot of different folders to do at one time, I can do it by choosing the multi-add. So let me start by removing these two different folders by clicking on the Remove All, click on Yes, next I'll click on the Multi-Add, and by default it'll search underneath my C drive and then look underneath the Metastock Data folder. If your data files aren't located here, you can also click on the Browse button and tell it exactly where to look. I'll click on the OK button and this will locate the data files that are stored on my hard drive. As you can see, I've got a lot of Metastock data files on my hard drive. Now, if I want to select them all at one time and convert them all, I can click on this button down here at the bottom that says Add All Folders to the Conversion, and that'll select everything. If I only want to grab a few, what I could do is I could pick and choose which ones I want to add. So, for example, I'll select my daily watch list, I'll select another folder called Futures, and then I'll scroll down to the bottom of this list, and I've got one down here at the very bottom, which is called Weekly Watch List. So I'll select that, and then I'll click on the Add Selected Folders to Conversion, and this will put those three different folders inside this list. Now before I tell it to convert the data, down here at the bottom, I can choose how much data is going to be converted. I can tell it to convert all the data inside of each one of these folders, or I can choose the second radio button, which will allow me to specify how much data is going to be converted. Now the way that the conversion works is that it takes a look at your Metastock data files, it converts it to a CSV format, and it adds it back to the original data file. So in other words, these data files can get pretty big, so if you have a lot of different files with a lot of data, you might want to convert less records. And by choosing less records, this will also speed up the conversion process as well. But for this example, I'll tell it to convert all the data that I have. And then over here on the right hand side, you'll see that I've got a checkbox here that says Write Metastock Custom Lists. What this will do is it'll take your Metastock list and it'll create a custom list for you inside the Power Console. This is a really nice feature and this is going to save you a lot of time. Otherwise, inside of Metastock, you'll have to create each custom list separately. An important note here is that if you have a custom list, and you tell the data converter to create another list with the exact same name, the data converter will not overwrite the first list. So when you're happy with your selections, click on the Convert button and this will begin the process. And again, depending on how many securities you have and how much data you're converting, this can take a few minutes. Now in this case, you can see that I converted 587 files inside of three different folders. And underneath here, this is a message that's also important, and that is if you told the converter to create a custom list for you, it's important that Metastock is not running. And if it is running, you just need to restart the program. So in this case, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and start my Metastock program. And now when I open up Metastock 13, at the top of my securities list, you'll see the three different custom lists that have been created for me. Metastock 13 designates a local data file with a pound sign at the very beginning of the name. So here's my first one, which is called Daily Watch List, followed by Futures, followed by Weekly Watch List. And inside the parentheses are the number of securities inside of each one of those folders. And once your data files have been installed inside of Metastock 13, then of course you can choose to do whatever you'd like with them. Whether you want to chart them, test them, or scan on them, it's up to you. Now, once your data files have been set up, you'll need to keep them current. Updating those local data files will depend on where you're getting your data from. 
Just for an example, I'll use Metasec's downloader to update my local data files. Using the downloader to update the data files, you open it up and click on the tools and then download prices. From here you identify where your data files are located. In my case they're located underneath C, Metastock Data, and then from this dialog you choose the data files to update. So in this case I'll choose Daily Watch List, I'll click on Add, I'll choose Futures, click on Add, and then the last one I'll choose my Weekly Watch List and click on Add, and then finally click on OK. Once I begin this process, this will update those local data files and get them current for me. One thing to note is that when you update your local data files, if you're not creating a new custom list inside of Metasock 13, you can have Metasock 13 running in the background. There's no need to restart the program. Now once my local data files have been updated with current information, the next step is I need to run the Learn Metasock Data Converter to convert that most recent data. So to do that, I'll close out of the downloader. I'll open up my data converter. And if I'm not adding any new lists, I'll just click on the Convert button down here at the bottom. When it's finished, click on OK, close down the converter, and now when you open up your securities inside the program, you'll see that they have the most recent data available for you. For more information on the Learn Metastock Data Converter, please visit our website at www.learnmetastock.com or drop us an email at admin at learnmetastock.com.